Yes, uh, good afternoon everybody. Welcome to this session of uh, uh, Sustainable Construction Methods. Today we'll be seeing this topic, uh, Cable State Bridges. Uh, basically, what are Cable State Bridges and uh, what, uh, how the load transfer uh, takes place in the Cable State Bridges and how the execution takes place. We'll be seeing that uh, today in this topic. So you can see uh, a Cable State Bridge is one of the most modern bridges. It consists of a continuous strong beam, a uh, strong beam which is called as a girder. A girder is, uh, is that beam which is uh, large in nature, it is large, with one or more pillars or towers in the middle. So basically this uh, cable state bridge is, uh, is uh, the cables are resting onto the pillars or towers which is in the middle. Cables stretch diagonally between these pillars or towers and the beam these cables support the beam. So basically the beam is holded by these cables which are fixed onto the pillars and they are fixed diagonally. Uh, we can see it in the further slides. Uh, if you see the figure, you can understand uh, how exactly and what does this mean. Because the cables are anchored in the tower rather than at the end. So they are fastened or tightened at the uh, in the tower rather than at the end. And these hold the beam or these hold the slab over which the traffic runs over. So what are the advantages of cable straight bridges? Much greater stiffness than the suspension bridge. So that deformation of the deck under live loads are reduced. You can see here we have uh, another bridge called a suspension bridge also or uh, and cable straight bridges. But uh, it, uh, the cable straight bridge, uh, state bridges uh, offer more stiffness when compared to suspension bridges. We'll be, be seeing uh, a little bit about sus uh, suspension bridges also in the further slides. Uh, it can be constructed by cantilevering uh, cantilevering out from the tower. The cables act both as temporary and permanent supports uh, to the bridge thing. So it uh, basically what is a can cantilever? It is fixed at one support and rather it is loose at the other support. So uh, we can fix these cable state bridges by fixing at the one end and leaving the loose the uh, cables and rather uh, then basically tightening it at the end giving the support to the bridge take. For a symmetrical bridge that is spans on either side of the tower are the same. The horizontal forces balance and large ground anchorages are not required. What's, what happens? The tower is in the middle and the cables are fixed at the, both the sides of the tower. Uh, if the span is uh, symmetrical, if the span is of the same sides uh, from, the, uh, from the center of the tower, both the sides the span is same, then there will be the horizontal forces are balanced uh, and we don't require any, la any large anchorage. We don't require any large fastenings to the ground here if it is the, of the same span. You can just see what is the difference between a cable straight bridge and a cable suspension bridge. See both are, both are cable uh, are uh, built using cables only but uh, one is cable straight bridge and other is suspension bridge. A multiple tower uh, cable straight bridge may appear similar to a suspension bridge but in fact it is very different in principle and in the method of construction. They, may, they might look uh, similar to you. The cable straight bridge and cable suspension bridge they might look similar but the uh, uh, they are different in principle as well as, well as uh, in the method of construction also. In the suspension bridge, a large cable hangs between two towers and is fastened at each end to anchorages in the ground or to the massive structure. What happens uh, uh, in the suspension bridge, large cables hangs uh, large cables are hang, uh, are hang between two towers and they are fastened at the end uh, at each end of anchorages or in the ground. Uh, to a massive set, whereas this doesn't happen in the cables. These cables from form the primary load bearing structure uh, for the bridge deck. Before the deck is installed, the cables are under tension from their own, for, from uh, for, for, from a, uh, only their own weight. So what happens is they are fastened, they are fixed to the tower, they are pulled, they are anchored at one place before the deck has been placed. In that uh, position, what happens? These cables are already in the tension state. In this tension state, because of their own weight. You can understand because they are huge cables they are, uh, and they are uh, fastened using the hydraulic jacks and they are fixed at some place either to the ground or to the deck depending, uh, depending on the nature. Smaller cables or rod are then suspended from the main cable and used to support the load of the bridge deck which is lifted in sections and attached to the suspender cable. So what happens is smaller uh, rods or cables are again fixed from the main cable and there from there they are pulled and uh, 
lifted in sections are attached to the suspended cables. The tension on the cables must be transferred to the earth by the anchorages which are sometimes difficult to construct owing to poor soil condition. You can just imagine what we are doing is uh, a huge tower has been casted from those towers uh, uh, cables are fixed, they are pulled, they are anchorage, they are fixed to the bridge from there they have to be fixed fastened at the ground. Now the problem is uh, though we go for uh, uh, some concrete base to that these are fastened but if that concrete base is resting onto the uh, ground or uh, if there are some poor soil conditions then because of this heavy load coming onto these uh, cables which are fixed onto the concrete structure at the bottom there are chances of uh, some settlements also so this happens here in the suspension bridge but whereas in cable straight bridge this doesn't happen there is a unique system of load transfer from uh, uh, one uh, cable to the other cable thereby balancing the whole bridge by uniformly distributing the cables uh, thereby the, uh, the load is transferred uniformly onto the whole structure. This doesn't happen in the suspension bridge. It is uh, those cables are fastened onto the ground but there are chances if the ground uh, has poor soil condition then there are chances of some settlements also here. Let us see further how does the load uh, transmission takes place. You can see here uh, from the slab uh, to the cables and from the cables to the pylons, from the pylons to the pile cap and from the pile cap to the piles and then onto the soil. You can see here, uh, you can see here the main uh, tower in the between and this is the main tower uh, in the between. This is the main tower in the between. From there, these cables are hang onto these bridge. You can see here, these uh, these cables are fixed onto these bridge and they are pulling. So there is tension in this from the both the sides. Tension in this, okay? Tension in this because again this is uh, fixed at the bottom. And compression here, it is uh, all these load. This load coming onto this uh, structure, these uh, cables or these towers, uh, that is transferred to the bottom and then from that bottom to the soil. This is how the load transmission takes place. You let us see here uh, uh, the components of cable state bridge. You can see a cable state. This, these are the piles which are inserted on into the ground. If the soil is weak, then we need to uh, uh, cast some piles inside. Once the piles are casted over that, then we fix the, we place the pile cap. We place the pile cap. This is the pile cap. And from here, this uh, is our structure. This is our column or our tower which uh, is the, then to the tower the, all this is uh, fixed you can see uh, this is the tower or pylon you can see a pylon to this the cables are fixed here then these cables are again attached to this deck this is the deck uh, it is fastened this deck is resting over here uh, with the support of the pylon but it is uh, uh, fixed here from the cables which are fixed to the pylons or the towels coming from top and all this uh, is distributed, uh, this load is uh, distributed uh, evenly onto the whole structure. So that is what happens is then this uh, whole structure is balanced uh, because of the even distribution of the load. Let us see a classification based on arrangements of the cables. We have uh, radiating and we have harp and we have fan and star. This is the arrangement of the cables. Based on this also uh, different types of cable straight bridges are designed. Based on the shape of the pylon, then we have different shapes of pylons also. It is not of a single shape. We have A type, we have H type and we have Y type of shape of pylons also. Now depending on the uh, arrangement of cables and the shape of the pylons, the cable straight bridge can be designed. Let us see a classification radial. Cable connects evenly throughout the deck but all the all converge on the top of the pile. You can see here see all are converging they are fixed to the deck okay all converge one, uh, and they are uh, connecting here to the top of the pylon here this is radial type this is radial type now half cables are parallel and evenly spaced along the deck and the pylon. you can see here they are evenly spaced here both the sides to the deck as well as the pylon you can see here and they are uh, they are not uh, getting fixed at the top of the pylon but they are fixed at the uh, different uh, depending on the spacing they are uh, fixed evenly on the spacing here they are spaced evenly here a fan type a combination of radial and half uh, types there fan type this is a combination of radial as well as half they are it is fixed here at the top as well as uh, 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 it is uh, radial in nature also star shaped cables are connected to two opposite points on the pier two opposite points on the uh, pier uh, the cables are connected here. you can see here all are connected at this place all are connected whereas you can't see here in different the these type of uh, cables uh, you can see here they are fixed at one place and but they are fixed at evenly distributed here 
on the tower. So this is the classification. Let us see A type, H type and Y type of pylon. Shapes of pylons. Sometimes you must have come across this type of construction of pylon also. And at some places we require this type of pylon also and some places this type of pylon. So whatever, uh, what type of uh, uh, cable uh, classification we are taking, we'll have to select that type of pylon also. Cable, a cable may be composed of one or more structural ropes, structural strands either you can say, locked coil strands or parallel wire strands. So what con is consisting, is contained in the cable is, it consists of uh, uh, structural ropes, it, it consists of steel ropes, wire strands, and they are uh, fixed, they are locks, locked inside, they can't move from inside. A strand is an assembly of wires formed helically around center wire in one or more symmetrical layers. So a strand, basically you can understand what is a strand, it consists of an assembly of wires formed helically across the center. So it is consists of number of wires inside, this is a strand. A strand can be used either as an individual load carrying member where radius or curvature is not, at, uh, not a major requirement or as a component the manufacture of the structural rope. So basically one strand it consists of different wires inside. So it, uh, it can be directly fixed as one individual member carrying the load or sometimes uh, multiple strands can be take to fix, uh, uh, fix uh, that strand to the deck to the bridge and then to the pylon. A rope is composed of a plurality of strands helically laid around a core. So it is helically laid around, uh, laid around a core. In contrast to the strand, a rope provides increased curvature uh, capability and is used where curvature of cable becomes an important consideration. You have uh, the strands as well as uh, rope to fasten uh, to fasten one side at the tower and then to the deck slab uh, where the traffic has to flow over it. You can see a uh, types of cables. You just see the types of cables, parallel bars. You can see how uh, one uh, cable consists of so many number of strands here. You can just see it. How many number of strands of wires are here and they have been placed this is the center core around it uh, these uh, again these wires are placed here and you can see uh, these are uh, uh, small in nature but they are parallel wires parallel strands you can see a uh, helical locked coil strands they are locked from here everything has been locked from here they can't move but th these are the strands which are coming from inside ropes you can see this is how the ropes are casted so this is the types of cables, types of pylons you have seen, types of cables you have seen and this is the nature of the cables depending on this, either some, uh, either of the, any of the one cable will be uh, used for the construction. Cables are made of high strength steel, see they are made of high strength steel, usually encast in a plastic or steel covering that is filled with grout. So they are high strength steel and they are, uh, they are usually covered with a plastic or steel covering and that uh, gap is also fixed with the grout. A fine grained form of concrete uh, for protection against uh, corrosion. A fine grained uh, concrete is also there which protects the corrosion. Also, Basically when uh, the word steels come into our mind there are high chances of corrosion. So to overcome that corrosion we uh, even uh, uh, put a fine, uh, uh, a fine uh, you can say a, a, a grained form of concrete so that uh, the corrosion can be prevented. You can see a selection of cable configuration. The selection of cable configuration and number of cables is dependent mainly on length of the span. So depending on the span type, what is the size of the span, we'll be seeing what type of cable configuration has to be taken. Type of loading, number of roadway lanes, highway height of the towers, and the designer's individual sense of proportion and aesthetics. So this depends on all these uh, uh, various factors. You can see what type of loading is coming onto the a bridge even that has to be seen and the number of roadway lanes it is a single lane or a multi lane whatever it is height of the tower whether we need a good height of the tower even that and the designers individual uh, experience also takes place uh, 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 yeah, all these factors takes place and aesthetic view also so depending on that the cable configuration is selected cost also plays important role in deciding the selection so we have to see the economic side also it uh, shouldn't increase the cost of the construction so depending on this also the cable uh, configuration is selected using less number of cables in 
increases concentrated load at a single point, thereby requiring additional reinforcement for the deck slab as well as pylon. So you can just see if we are reducing the number of cables here, the other side, the deck slab reinforcement is getting increased and well as the pylon reinforcement is getting increased. So we have to decide uh, the economic view also what till uh, if we increase the uh, number of cables then the reinforcement the deck slab as well as the pylons will be reduced uh, then if we are decreasing that then there are chances of increase uh, then the reinforcement will increase in the deck slab as well as the pylon. Position of the cable in space two plane system two vertical plane system and two inclined plane system. So the, how is the position of cables in space? Even that has to be seen. Whether it is inclined or vertical, we have two plane system and we have single plane system. And two plane system, again we have two vertical plane system and two inclined plane system. Let us see a two vertical plane system. In this type of system, there are two vertical sets of cables, two vertical sets of cables and the tower on the either sides of the bridge. See, the tower is on the either side of the bridge. The tower is not in the middle. It is in the other side of the bridge and the cables are vertical, which lie in the same vertical plane. The, the cable anchorages may be situated outside the deck. You can see here the cable anchorages where we are fastening the cable that is situated outside the deck structure, which is better than the other in terms of space as no deck area of the deck surface is obstructed by the presence of cables and the towers. Now, what happens is we are not using the deck space and these anchorages are fastened outside the deck space. So the clear view and the clear space of the deck slab is uh, uh, available and that is used for uh, <clears throat> that is completely available for uh, uh, use. But this requires substantial cantilevers to be constructed in order to transfer the shear and the bending moment in the deck structure. But this again requires some uh, cantilever uh, construction also which has to distribute the load, bending moment and the shear force coming onto the deck structure. Uh, for that we require <coughs> A substantial cantilever uh, uh, type of construction is also needed where the load can be distributed onto the either side just to give a free passageway onto the deck uh, we have we have to then again provide some cantilever construction also to distribute the load let us see when cables and tower lie within the cross section of the bridge they the area taken up cannot be utilized as a part of the roadway and may be only partly used for sidewalk see this is what is happening see if we are uh, fixing the cables and the tower coming in the roadway then what happens that uh, that amount of uh, the, that amount of space cannot be utilized uh, uh, for uh, traffic passage but that can only be uh, yeah, that can only be left out for the sidewalk you must have seen uh, where in our city we have come up with the cable state bridge there also you can see uh, a small part has uh, is there which can uh, which is used for a sidewalk you can have a good view of the cable state bridge there you can walk from one uh, uh, side of the cable state bridge to the other side this is what has happened the cables and the tower are lie uh, are lying in the cross section of the bridge thus as area of the deck surface remain non effective and has to be compensated for by increasing overall width of the deck. So overall width of the deck has to be increased if in the cross section of the bridge, you uh, the tower and the cables come up. So uh, rather if you want to uh, reduce this, then we have to go for one cantilever section also. Two inclined plane system. In this system, the cables run from the edges of the bridge deck to a point uh, above the center line of the bridge or an A-shaped tower on an A-shaped tower or a lambda shaped or a diamond shaped pylon. You can see here uh, if the shape of the tower is A-shaped or uh, lambda shaped or diamond shaped pylon, in this uh, system the cable runs from the edges of the bridge. See the cable is running from the edges of the bridge. We must have seen uh, different types of uh, uh, cable system, different types of uh, pylon system where the cables were running from the end or sometimes from the different uh, uh, spaces, exact uh, given spaces or some of them. So this happens in two inclined plane system. This arrangement can be recommended for very long span. The, this type of arrangement is recommended for very long spans where the tower has to be very high. The tower is high. You can see the span is long. So the tower is also very high and needs the lateral stiffness given by the triangle and frame junction. Lateral stiffness is required for that uh, triangle frame junction is required here where the load can be transferred properly evenly. Um, you can just see here. The single in the single plane system, this type of system consists of bridges with only one vertical plane of stay cables along the middle longitudinal axis of the superstructure. Now, in this, only one uh, vertical plane of cables is required uh, in along the longitudinal axis of the superstructure, not at the substructure. As the cables are located in single center vertical strip, 
this all the space is utilized by the traffic you can see the cable is a, in a single center vertical strip so the rest of the space can be utilized by the for the traffic purpose this system also creates a lane separation as a natural continuation of the highway approaches flow bridge now the cables are fixed in the center uh, of the tower now what happens they are uh, directly giving you a separation of two lanes two lane separation they are directly giving it to you you don't need to again come up with any great separators also longitudinal arrangements of the cables used for two plane bridges are also applied to single center girder bridges longitudinal arrangement of cables are also there again now uh, so this was the this was how the uh, cable system takes place how the uh, cable state bridge is uh, uh, is designed how the pylons are fixed and how the uh, different cable arrangements are done uh, uh, depending on the span of the bridge and the height of the bridge depending on all this what is the load coming onto the deck uh, depending on all these things we try to finalize the uh, type of cable straight bridge. So the cable straight bridge, the construction is very much different, whereas compared to the suspension, uh, a cable suspension bridge, uh, the uh, the uh, words mean the same a little bit, but the construction is uh, very much uh, different, and the principle of working is also very much different. For today, uh, this is this was the topic. I request all of you all to please go through the session and. Uh, please uh, comment in the comment section in the next class we will be seeing we will be taking a case study and we will be seeing how the construction of a cable straight bridge was done what are the type of the pylons what are the span what are the what what how how importance the cable straight bridge uh, played in connecting one place to the other place all that will be seen in the next session thank you for uh, uh, patient listening i request all of you all to please go through the session and comment in the uh, comment section hope you all must have uh, enjoyed this video thank you